You are all welcome to this video. We have seen an interesting example in the previous video based on the surface area of right circular cone. Today, in this video, we will see some more interesting examples based on this. Thomas, the heat these days is really scorching. Let's go to eat ice cream. Yes, yes, let's go. Thomas, look how beautifully this ice cream has been packed in colorful paper. It's really beautiful, Manas. I wonder how much paper does it take to completely cover each ice cream like this? Aha! We can find the answer through mathematics. That means it's math time! Thomas, can you tell me what shape this ice cream is? I guess this ice cream looks like a cone. That's right. And look, Thomas, this ice cream is completely covered with this colored paper. This means that the paper used to cover the ice cream will be equal to its total surface area. Do you remember the formula for the total surface area of the cone, Thomas? The total surface area of the cone is equal to the product of pi r and the sum of r and l, where r and l are the radius of the base of the cone and its slant height respectively. The radius of the ice cream base is 2 cm and its slant height is 12 cm. Let me solve this by writing this measure here instead of R and L respectively. Look Manas, the cone has a total surface area of 88 square centimeters. This means 88 square centimeters of paper has been used to cover the ice cream completely. Oh wow Thomas, let us return to our world now. I hope our ice creams haven't melted. Both the friends ate their ice creams with a lot of fun. Friends, in this video, we saw another interesting example based on the surface area of right circular cone. So hopefully now, you have got a good understanding of the surface area of a right circular cone.